I, I don't understand uh, the argument to be made that people are overreacting. Think about insurance. We all have uh, homeowners insurance. You can't own a home without insurance. You, can, uh, you know, you, it's not legal, I don't think, to have a car without insurance. I don't know. I've never done that. But you know that you may sp- spend tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in a life to have car insurance, and you'll never get in a wreck. But you're just doing it to protect yourself. It's smart so you don't get sued, right? Uh, and you can protect yourself if you get in an accident and you or your family members get hurt. It's the same thing with coronavirus. You, don't worry about winning the arguments here. Just the the upside to this not spreading to 70% of the country is social distancing and canceling. The downside is, well, I, I don't get to watch Dayton play. Nobody cares. I mean, nobody cares. I mean, the big picture, just don't be stupid. Um, you know, I'm going to stay in the house overwhelmingly if I can. I'm going to go on some, I'm going to go on a long walk today. But if I can not go to public places, I'll try to avoid them. You know, if I have to work, I'll work. If, if I can avoid work, I'll avoid work. Uh, I'll walk around uh, outside if I can, get some fresh air. But, you know, I'm not going to go to any concerts or venues. I'm not going to go to any games. I don't think we should have them. I think it's smart. Uh, whenever I find people who are it just, they need to be right. It's such an obvious mask of insecurity. I don't know anything other than the smart people I talked to who last Friday told me, cancel your European trip, get out of it. Um, you know, you don't need to panic and go buy Purell, but, um, don't do any overseas travel. Don't, um, and cancel any big meetings you're going to have if they're large gatherings, concerts. Cancel them. I was told that last Friday. Uh, they predicted this week there would be a uh, little bit of panic, uh, market crash. Uh, be very aware there's going to be widespread canceling of events. I was told that Friday. So, you know, my wife and I talked about it over the weekend. Uh, my wife was very emotional about a, a trip to Ireland starting tomorrow. And so I didn't want to tell her what I was told, which is cancel it. So Friday I suggested it. Saturday, I really suggested it, and Sunday, we did it. Um, you know, it's just the smartest people have been ahead of this thing. You know, like Belichick's always a little ahead of the curve. The smartest people I've talked to on Friday were predicting this. They were CEOs of companies I just happened to bump into in Deer Valley, Utah, and a Seattle, and a Seattle CEO said, cancel stuff, don't go to Europe, stay off planes if you can. And we'll see, uh, This is this is where... Um, you know, it, it's sometimes when I host this show and I used to take calls uh, and I would say, I would suggest something. People would say, what about the kids? And I would say, well, that's why you're a parent. It's not just making them. Anybody can make kids. It's about wisdom. And I've always thought that I want my kids to make mistakes while I'm in their proximity or um, in their lives. What I don't want to do is shelter my kids, send them off to college, and they're in a fetal position because they can't make top ramen by themselves. Or if there's a crisis, they don't know how to act. Um, This is where leadership is really important. I'm not a huge fan of the current president. I think he's over his skis on this. Um, But I don't want to make this a political issue. I think you are defined in life by how you handle crises as a parent, as a CEO, as a commissioner, as a president. This is a real crisis. And um, uh, last night's speech had to be corrected and uh, modified because uh, there were several mistakes made during the speech. Um, you know, it's it's discouraging. But be that as it may, that's the current person in the White House. And uh, you just hope we make good decisions going forward. Uh, This is not a hoax, as was suggested a week ago. It has never been with the smart people. The smartest people on this have never thought it was a hoax. They have been progressive. I think Adam Silver is very bright. Let's get ahead of it. What you want to do in these, when you see a chart where it goes to the sky, what you want to do is break that off and make it quickly turn downward in number of cases uh, that we're having. You do that by some isolation, canceling concerts, canceling leagues, canceling events. It's what smart people do. It's what smart people do. They buy insurance to protect in case of an emergency. Even if you don't have it, you're protected. Peace of mind. Now, we also live in a world now where, um, you know, I didn't grow up with Twitter. Hell, I didn't grow up with the Internet. I didn't grow up. I barely grew up with cable TV. 
um, something that is, uh, you know, kind of a case study on this going forward in our lives. This is something now that it's 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 a reality. It was never a reality in my life. It is now a reality. Panic. Um, it used to be that mostly qualified people got opinions. A, a governor, a senator, a spokesperson, an accredited media member, a writer for the L.A. Times or the Chicago Tribune who had gone to college and had a journalism degree. And those days are over. Anybody can have a blog. Uh, I, I fell down this past weekend and uh, ripped my head open. And I had stomach virus, didn't eat, collapsed. Literally online yesterday, Cowherd got into a fight with his wife. That's what people are saying. Nobody's saying that. Nobody in the world is saying that. Um, especially the seven firefighters who showed up to my door. Um, but now you can do that. It is uh, unaccredited, not terribly bright, attention seekers, uh, posturing, preening. And that's the world we live in. And there's going to be a lot of disinformation going forward. And unfortunately, it's not just by amateurs. I see a lot of uh, agenda-driven people in the media trying to win stuff instead of educate. I've always felt my job is largely to inform and entertain. I try to be right all the time. Sometimes I'm wrong. I sit all night like a, you know, a boring uh, person. And I text all day. And I talk all day. And I have meetings all day. With people who are sources, my wife laughs at it. She's like, is, is this gossip? I'm like, no, it's an NFL scout. I need this information. Uh, so I think that's my job. Um, I, I see a world where we live in now where there's a lot of disinformation, and it comes down to your discretion. I have never had more newspaper subscriptions than I actually have now. Why? Because the amount of disinformation has me seeking legitimate information. Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, L.A. Times, New York Times, The Athletic. I have never in my life had read more or had more newspaper subscriptions. Why? Because I want clarity in a world in I, which I live now with so much disinformation. So it's become the people who have real information have become incredibly valuable to me. Um, you know, I depend on four or five people at the L.A. Times I trust for local news, uh, the Athletic, the Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg for my financial stuff, uh, the Washington Post, the New York Times. Well, they're liberal. Whatever. I need information from accredited people. Um, and all I can tell you on this, it is not a two week story. Do not believe anybody that tells you that in two weeks we'll all be good. It's not what we have here. We're going to have a two to three month story. Um, and let's just help our neighbors, help the less fortunate, help the compromised physically and financially. Let's be good citizens. You know, I, I remember post 9-11, I worked at another network at the time, and I, and I remember saying this, and I, I got really emotional about this. I don't know why this is, but it is, that 9-11, the only upside to it was that it brought us together. Nobody cared if you were a blue or a red guy, Republican, Democrat, elephant, donkey. It didn't matter. You were an American. Didn't matter. And it lasted about a week. And then we all went back to taking sides and taking shots at each other. But 9-11 provided this brief window of empathy for each other. And I hope over the next month... Uh, we can share some of those qualities. I thought Nick Wright nailed it. Like, like, let's be smart. Let's help each other. Americans, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a patriot, blue team, red team. It doesn't matter. Served, haven't served. Help people. Step up. Be a good neighbor. Be a good citizen. 